Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. We're jumping straight into today's video. This is going to be just a really realistic clean with me. I will say some days there's more cleaning than other days, but I feel like this is like a normal cleaning day where I didn't have tons of deep cleaning to do, but I also didn't just have to pick up a few things. I felt like there was just a lot of little things around the house I need to work on. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and let's get to cleaning. Back to you, back to you, back to you, you, you. I always start off in my bedroom. I like to get the bed made and just the windows open and just kind of get that area tackled. And then I typically move on to my kitchen like you can see here. I feel like there's normally dishes just from like breakfast or the night before. And I like to just kind of start by putting all the clutter away. And then first thing in the morning, I like to get the dishwasher unloaded. So all day long when we have dirty dishes, they can go straight into the dishwasher instead of my sink. Otherwise by the end of the day, I have a full sink. If you follow me over on Instagram, that still happens. I posted a picture like that not too long ago, but if I'll just unload my dishwasher, that doesn't happen. Real quickly, we're gonna talk about some Walmart products that I'm loving. So I do wanna thank Walmart for sponsoring this part of today's video. Basically, they've been having some amazing rollbacks, especially on some of the items that I love. I have them in my house. You guys know I love the beautiful line from Walmart, even the home edit organizational line from Walmart. They have so many great items on their rollback right now. So you can search on the website. The way I use it is I just use the app on my phone. That's where I do all my ordering from. And there's actually like a rollback section for you to search. So it's so easy. You can see all of them right there. There's no coupons, there's no clipping, there's no searching. It's just so easy to find. And one of the products I was so excited to get my hands on was this beautiful beautiful mixer. Um, we don't bake all the time, but Savannah and I really enjoy baking together, but not enough that I wanted to spend like hundreds of dollars on a mixer. So I knew I loved the quality of beautiful. Their like small appliances are gorgeous. They're amazing. The quality is insane and they're so stinking affordable, but it was on rollback. So I grabbed it because I know it won't last long. Now I wanna to talk to you real fast about their trend getter. I thought this was so cool that you can use now. So basically you can click on take a photo and either use a photo that's in your phone that you found somewhere, or you could use your camera to take a picture. But if there's a product you've been looking for, say like a white coffee maker, you can take a picture of it and it will help navigate for you on their site of something similar that you're looking for. So say I saw these shoes um, and you're trying to find something close to it, you can take a picture and see if they have something like it on Walmart, which I think is super cool because how many times are we out and we see like a cute bag or shoes or something in someone else's home? Like you can totally snap a picture and then try to find it on Walmart and maybe even get it on rollback. <laughs> Another amazing brand that's at Walmart is the Home Edit line, and their stuff goes on rollback too, so check it out. Um, I really like their pantry organizational bins, and you can mix and match these, but I love their like can storage bins because it's like towers, so you can actually see what you have. Once again, just because it's on rollback, it does not mean it's not good quality. Like these are amazing brands with amazing quality. Um, you're just getting that at a really good deal. And I feel like these are rollbacks that only Walmart gets. So definitely check them out, check out the app, check out the website, find that rollbacks area so you can search them. One other product, and I talk about this in so many of my videos, is my like vacuum mop. So I'm gonna be using this later on in today's video, so make sure you stay tuned if you wanna see how well it works. But I do wanna thank Walmart again for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have all their links and all the information down below in my description box. And don't forget to hang tight so you can see me use this tool in action. It is amazing.
I honestly clean my countertops all the time. I always have. It's just something that I love to clean and wipe down. I do it in the morning. I like to do it after lunch. I do it right before I go to bed. And I will say my countertops, even though they're white, they hide so much because they have like speckles in it. You can't really see it unless you're up close. But I just know food's there and I know crumbs are there. I don't want to like rub my hand across it and fill any crumbs or dirt. So I like to just go ahead and like wipe them down pretty often. It's so hard to stay on top of the world When the world keeps telling you who you should be All these people telling you what you need Oh, darling, only you can set your spirit free Pay attention now, I ain't gonna stop it, stop it Honey, everything you need is in your pocket Okay, let's talk sectional because I haven't really had a chance to update you here on YouTube. If you'll go follow me over on Instagram, you're gonna stay more up to date over there, especially if you just wanna see all the changes and everything going on with the new house and everything that's happening behind the scenes. But basically we had bought this sectional and put it in our storage unit because we wanted it for the new house. We just got a really good deal on it. We walked in and it was like the floor model that they were trying to get rid of. So it was just on a good discount. So we grabbed it because it's actually gonna fit the new house better. Um, our living room's just set up a little bit different, even though the floor plan's kind of the same. And we were going to take our old sectional and put it into the game room because we loved it so much. But once we measured it out, we realized it wasn't going to fit. And in the meantime, Chase had found some movie theater cells like on Facebook Marketplace. So we grabbed those. We sold the old sectional. So we went ahead and put the new sectional in here. So that's the update. Um, we're loving it. I love it in here too. It kind of like opened it up, which is nice for when we go to sell. It just feels more spacious. And then I think it'll look really good in the new house. Plus I want to add some like chairs right there in that open side. I just haven't found any that I like yet. This TV stand right here actually won't be the TV stand in the new house. It's actually the dresser for our master bedroom, but I was wanting to get rid of like that orangey color wood in our house before we showed it. And this had come in because like I said, I'd ordered it for our master bedroom. So we went ahead and put it together and we're making it work in here. I will say black is so much harder to keep clean. People always mention white. White is easy for me, but black shows dust after like two hours. <laughs> and so I'm constantly wiping it down, but I am loving like all the black touches we've added in our house. But as you're seeing things, just know it doesn't mean it's going there. Um, in the next house, we're just trying to make all of it work because we're getting new pieces in, but our house still has to be like presentable when we go to show it. I've been getting asked that a lot because my last video or the one before that, I don't know when this one's going up, was how to stage your house to sell. Currently, our house is not on the market yet. We are staying in it until it's time to move. So we're just trying to plan when it needs to go um, up on the market because we're not gonna like move out and then move to the next house. We'd rather just keep this and then move from here to the next house. So we're just trying to figure out all the timing and just the best way to make it work.
I really do enjoy when I have like slow days and I don't have a ton of like YouTube work to get done or Instagram work and I can just like slowly clean my house, get caught up. Um, I just feel like slowly clutter comes in or just things that aren't in their home. I feel like there's laundry I need to get caught up on. I love just being able to like dust and clean, work on my mirrors, um, work on like our closets. And since we are um, going to be listing soon, I feel like I'm just more aware of things in my house. So I'm really working on like our guest bedroom closet and just all Savannah's dance stuff, trying to figure out the things that we we need in our house to survive <laughs> until we move but also items that's like these don't serve as purpose we'll need them in the next house but we don't need them here now so I can like move it to the storage building so the house looks more open and the spaces feel cleaner and just larger so it's one of those like before you list your house I feel like it's a very hard time like I don't envy anybody that's house is about to go on the market just because if you're like me I'm just so particular and I want it to look perfect I want it to feel perfect I want the new people to feel like they're getting a brand new home just with a ton of perks and so I'm constantly just like filling holes and painting and I don't know always working on something so it'll just be so nice when we move and get to go home and just like live in our house again as the moon is rising, I will keep on finding Jump into the deep end, give you all my weekends Taking all the back This laundry room is definitely the catch-all space Just because it's on our way out to the garage So if we need to put something in the car, it gets dropped off here If we need to take something to the storage unit, it goes here If it's something Savannah's like done or doesn't fit in or ready to donate, it goes in here um, plus it's just like the laundry room so I feel like just for so many reasons it just always has clutter it used to drive me crazy but I finally realized this was not going to be like a Pinterest worthy area it can be for like home tours and for certain photos but real life especially during the winter time when there's jackets it's just full it's being used we live here we have so many different coats we have coats if it's like a little warm we have coats if it's freezing i feel like here in oklahoma you just never know what you're gonna get and we're going out to the house a lot so we have like separate shoes and separate jackets just because the new house is like freezing right now um so it is nice to just like reset it get everything picked up but I also make the mental note of it's not going to last, so just enjoy it while it's clean for the few moments that it lasts, and then we live in our house again, so it'll get back cluttered in probably an hour. towels um, and they were our towels but sometimes if the load's not very full I just run down to Savannah's bathroom to make sure that she doesn't have any floating around and at least it like breaks up her laundry a little bit so that's why I'm walking down the hall and I'm just digging through her laundry basket trying to find any extra towels so while I'm doing all the towels I might as well get as many done as possible you got the kind of that leaves when speechless it could be model multitasking genius yeah you got it all Hey, what's your story? It can't cast mom in 40 under 40. It's soccer practice in your high heel glory. Yeah, you do it all. Hey, but the cup won't you listen? I'm a woman. Stronger than what you would believe. Way more than I was to see. You either got it or you don't. I'm a woman. Just what I'm about to do. Would it get in my way if I was you? You either get it or you don't. How do you do it all while never budging? You rule the world but make it look like nothing Such a boss Hey, true or false It take about 20 men to do your job A kingdom never fails when there's a queen in charge Girl, don't stop Hey, but the cup won't you listen I'm a woman
I took my laundry basket back to put in our bathroom. I like to keep two now, so then there's one always in this cabinet, but I realized I had thrown more towels in there this morning, so I went ahead and dug those out so I could throw them in the washer too. That way, all those towels are getting done. I will say having two laundry baskets for us has been helpful because half the time when the laundry basket's in the laundry room while I'm working on laundry, more laundry is happening and so it's just getting thrown in a cabinet. I love that there's like a laundry basket and they're already getting full and then I can just set them like inside of each other. I don't know. You guys may not need to but it has been really helpful. Now we made it to the point of today's video that I promised earlier. If you wanna see how this vacuum works, we're gonna be doing it. Now, I talk about this all the time, so you've probably seen me use it, but just in case you're new here or want to just watch again, basically you just fill up the little um, container with water and there's lines on it. So you know where to fill the water to, it tells you where to fill the solution to, um, and it's not that much, it's just right off the top, and then you slide it back in and all you do is turn it on and basically um, to release the fluid, you like pull down on the trigger. So when I'm going forward, I'll put like the solution on the ground and then I let go of the trigger. And so when I pull the vacuum mop back, it's like sucking it up. So when I go forward, I spray it. When I bring it back, um, it sucks it in. So it's just like a shampooer that you would use on carpets, but you can use it on like your hard surface floors. And it is a game changer. It used to take me forever to like vacuum my entire house or sweep it and then have to come back in and mop it. So like I said, I love this. My house smells so good when it's done. It just feels so clean. It feels brand new again and I can do it in record time. So if you don't have one of these and you have a lot of like tile floors or anything that you're having to mop often, I'm telling you it's going to be worth every penny. Ask for like a big gift for like Valentine's Day or Christmas or your birthdays, combine them. But I promise you, you will not regret this product and it's actually on rollback right now with Walmart. During the winter, my floors just stay so dirty and I kind of blame George. So here to Oklahoma, our grass goes dormant. So it basically dies out and he loves to go out and like roll around on his back and let the sun hit his belly. He loves to sunbathe but his fur is like um, Velcro for this dead grass. And then he comes inside and shakes and it's just everywhere. It's in every corner, it's under every chair. Um, I have like a vacuum that, um, like a RoboVac that vacuums every morning and I still pretty much need to vacuum and mop every evening. Like I just can't keep him clean. I'll try to like brush him before he comes in and I swear it just like hides in his cute little curls and then he like has a button within himself that he can just release it as he's walking like it's almost a like a superpower how much grass he can bring inside um, so and I'm just trying to be very cautious of like keeping the house clean because our realtor does know we are ready to list whenever she's ready to go and I'm just waiting for this phone call of like hey can I show your house in 30 minutes I have someone that wants to see it so in my head I'm trying to keep my house like show ready at all times and I think I'm like <laughs> driving myself crazy uh, but I just want to know if someone comes in here it's just just nice and clean for them.
Okay, one other really cool feature about this vacuum mop is it will refresh your rug. So this isn't gonna be like a deep shampooer, but on this rug, I can't really shampoo it all that much or I try not to often because it's real like natural fibers um, and it's like woven and I feel like it can unwind easily. I don't know if that makes sense or if that's even real, but basically it puts out a little bit of that water like it does on your floor and then sucks it up so it refreshes them. So if you need to refresh your rugs but you don't want them to get all the way wet or you're worried because there's like wood floor underneath them so you don't want to use a shampooer on top and like drench them this is another really cool feature about this like vacuum mop that I love getting to do on all my rugs Here is what the water looked like. It's always disgusting. And like I mopped my floors yesterday. That's what's insane about this is it always just picks up so much stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and push my bar stools back in. I just really love having clean floors. I never knew how much I loved it until recent. Like, of course my name's Till Vacuum to his part, so I've always loved to vacuum, but having mopped like clean, fresh floors is just amazing to me. But I wanna thank you guys so much for being here and thanks again to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. All their links are gonna be down below, especially the products that I talked about today because they're all on rollback, so definitely check them out. But thank you for being here. Thank you for making it till the end. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.